Hey guys, it's Ozzy Reptiles here. Now basically what I wanted to do today is just a really quick video, basically recapping uh, the lizards I got and basically talking a bit about what they are and how the genetics work and so on. So here we have an albino blue tongue and a black blue tongue. Now obviously these are two very different and quite opposite on the spectrum. So you've got this animal here, which the albino is basically, it, it gets rid of all the black melanin why the hypermelanistic increases the melanin. So you've got two animals that are completely opposite, and then putting these two animals together, believe it or not, actually makes a pure red animal. So with those two animals combined, the white, the albino gene, takes away all the black and leaves the undercolor, which is, in this case, yellow, but for the other specimens, orange. So then, the only color present on the hypermelanistic albino is orange and it makes a pure orange animal. I put a photo of one up. So uh, that is a hypermelanistic blue tongue. And uh, like I said, breeding that to the albino makes a larva or a hypermelanistic albino, which is a bright orange animal. So I've been asked a few questions about these animals right here. And so this here, these are my black eyed anery. So what you have here, this here is your normal. It's a het anery. We'll get the light flashing down onto it a bit. You can't really see. But basically this animal here has orange bars. You can slightly see it. And a quite yellow sort of tinge into it. And the main focus there is on its eyes. Um, basically the eyes still have pigment, right? So there's still like an orange eye with a black dot. But if you move on to its partner in here and you bring the partner out, you have a closer look. There's no real orange pigment or color on the side there. And his eyes are literally jet black. So what the anery gene is, the anery removes red and orange pigment. It can leave yellow, so some animals do have yellow bars, but uh, this one here doesn't really show any yellow, so he's quite nice. Now breeding your black eye anaries together is exactly the same as all the other mutations. It's pretty, it's a recessive trait, meaning you breed an anary to a normal. Animals come out normal but carry the gene. You breed them back to each other, you make anaries. It's pretty simple. So here we have a northern blue tongue. I believe it's a Darwin locale. This animal right here actually carries the white northern gene, which I will pull out in a second. And then you put him back, and then you get the animals that... Most of you guys seem to enjoy and quite like the white northern. So right now he's pretty much he's a pink lizard with pink bands, um, if you guys can see that. But as this guy grows up and goes through a through sh uh, goes through a few different sheds, they actually become pure white. However, some do keep this banding. And uh, some aren't as colourful, some can even be a slight tinge of brown themselves. But uh, we'll see how this one grows, hopefully he becomes pretty white and uh, he's gorgeous. Now in terms of that, I've just covered the albino, the black, the anery, and the white northern. They are the big four mutations. As I said, these are the big four mutations and now I am fortunate enough to be working with them. Hopefully the babies grow up to be opposite genders and so on and then I can produce them in the future. Uh, I've got the big albino male here to breed to my head girl which is the girl that produced some nice babies this year. So here is one of the babies I produced this season. Very nice and he's a slight reduced pattern there and he's got a, he's got a nice yellow tinge through him if you can see that. So the mother is a possible head albino and the father is a 100% head reduced pattern. So these babies are potentially head reduced pattern. About 50% of them should be reduced pattern. And then the mum being pos albino, also they should be, they could be possible head albino as well. Yeah, you've got a better chance of making reduced patterns out of these than you do albinos, but there's still a chance. And there's even a chance that you could possibly get a reduced pattern albino. Uh, great projects for this channel. But a uh, big thank you for all the support I'm getting on my unboxing video. That's doing really well. Uh, it's got like 300 reviews in a day. So that's good. Um, I really appreciate the support on that video. And yeah, if you guys want to see how these babies grow and uh, how my collection is doing, 
just stay tuned. I've got a December Reptile Room update coming soon. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big fat thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.